Thank you guys so much for your patience. We had like oh, a lot of technical difficulties today. First of all, the Army Chess GSA wants to thank everyone for coming out today and showing your support for the transgender community. It means a lot to so many in the community. My name is Ellen, and my pronouns are she, hers, hers. And I organized this event with Bryn, the wife, yeah. And we are helping run the GSA this year. But most importantly, we are here to mourn all the trans people who have lost their lives and been taken from us due to transphobia in the last year, and to stand in solidarity with those who are still in need of our protecting. We are here to learn and broaden our understanding of the experiences of our friends, family, and neighbors, and to honor the groundwork done by past generations of trans people of color who led the movement for queer liberation. We also want you to consider what steps you will be taking to keep this momentum going. And after all, the only thing that brings about lasting change is when we stop treating injustice like it's someone else's problem. Tonight, Bryn and I will say a few words, and then we will read out the names of all the trans victims of violence from the past year and have a moment of silence. Thank you. Hello, oh my god, okay. My name is Bryn, and I use he, they pronouns. So, whenever we scroll through social media or through news articles, and we see another post, another news article about a transgender person who was murdered, a lot of emotions rise up within all of us. We might feel sadness or pain for another life taken so violently. We may feel anger or confusion and ask, how can someone have so much hate for another person for simply living their truth? We might feel, I'm sorry, we might feel fear as a transgender or a gender non-conforming person. We may feel guilt as a cis person we're, we're maybe not doing enough. I think that one emotion that is prevalent in all of us is a sense of hopelessness. You know that question, what can I do as a single individual to prevent violence against the transgender community or to help them? And it's a loaded question, and the truth is there's not a solid answer. Finding out what allyship and what making change means to you isn't individual process. It's a lifelong process. And I feel that we often never get the opportunity to really grieve or to mourn or to feel all of these emotions. And we especially don't get the opportunity to really reflect on that question, what can I do? The RMHS GSA created this event in order to bring awareness to and to mourn for the transgender lives that have been lost due to acts of transphobia. We also created this event in hopes that each of you will make a promise to yourselves, a promise to let transgender people take up space in your mind, to take time out of your schedule and really reflect on how you can use your voice for change, whether that means joining a local LGBT organization or maybe looking inside your own self at your own internalized transphobia, or maybe it's marching up to a local administration and demanding change right away, whatever that looks like to you. I think that's what's so powerful about events like this is that even though finding your voice and finding your place in activism is an individual process, you can visually see how you are clearly not alone. And there are so many people taking that process and willing to fight right by your side I hope that one day enough people make this promise to themselves and really follow through with their promise so much so that we won't need to hold such tragic events like this. But right now it's necessary. It's necessary especially because the amount of trans people who were murdered increased since last year, especially since a disproportionate amount of those murders are of trans women of color it's necessary to make sure that these people don't become forgotten statistics. It's necessary to say each and every one of their names, to see their faces, and to learn their stories. So please, keep saying their names and keep fighting. Thank you. Uh, we will now say each of 
the names of the transgender people who were murdered, and we will light a candle for each of them. Okay. Dustin Parker, 25, January 1st, 2020, McAllister, Oklahoma. New Elisa Luciano Ruiz, 28, February 24th, 2020, Toa Baja, Puerto Rico. John Scott, Scotland, Kelly DeVore, 51, March 12th, 2020, Augusta, Georgia. Yamfi Mendez Archoco, 19, March 5th, 2020, Mocha, Puerto Rico. Monica Diamond, 34, March 18th, 2020, Charlotte, North Carolina. Lexi Ebony Sutton, 33, March 28th, 2020, Harlem, New York. Joanna Metzger, 25, April 11th, 2020, Baltimore, Maryland. Penelope Diaz Ramirez, 31, April 13th, 2020, Puerto Rico. Serena Angelique Velasquez Ramos, 32, April 21st, 2020, Puerto Rico. Layla Palaya Sanchez, 21, April 21st, 2020, Puerto Rico. Nina Pop, 28, May 3rd, 2020, Sykeston, Missouri. Hella J. O'Regan, 20, May 6th, 2020, San Antonio, Texas. Jane Thompson, 33, May 9th, 2020, Orchard Mesa, Colorado. Tony McDade, 38, May 27th, 2020, Tallahassee, Florida. Selena Reyes Hernandez, 37, May 31st, 2020, Marquette Park, Chicago, Illinois. Rhea Milton, 25, June 9th, 2020, Liberty Township, Cincinnati, Ohio. Dominique Rem Remy Fells, 27, June 9th, 2020, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Brian Egypt Powers, 43, June 13th, 2020, Akron, Ohio. Brayla Stone, 17, June 25th, 2020, Sherwood, Arkansas. Mercy Mack, 2020, June 30th, oh, sorry, 22, June 30th, 2020, Oak Cliff, Dallas, Texas. Drea McCarty, 28, June 30th, 2020, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Tatiana Hall, 2020, tw I'm sorry, 22, June 30th, 2020, Irvington, New Jersey. Shaky Peters, 32, July 1st, 2020, Amit City, Louisiana. Bree Black, 27, July 3rd, 2020, Pompano Beach, Florida. Summer Taylor, 24, July 4th, 2020, Seattle, Washington. Marilyn Monroe Cesares, 22, July 13th, 2020, Raleigh, California. Dior H. Ova, or Tiffany Harris, 32, July 26th, 2020, The Bronx, New York. Quisha Hardy, 24, July 27th, 2020, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Ajara Kel Roan Spears, Rocky Roan, 32, July 28, 2020, Portland, Oregon. Key Sam, 24, August 13, 2020, Lafayette, Louisiana. Ellie Che, 23, August 31, 2020, The Bronx, New York. Isabella Mia Lofton, 21, September 7, 2020, Brooklyn, New York. Arian Burnett, 37, September 19, 2020, Independence, Missouri. Mia Green, 29, September 28, 2020, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Michelle Michelle and Ramos Vargas, 33, September 30th, 2020, San Germán, Puerto Rico. Felicia Harris, 33, October 3rd, 2020, Augusta, Georgia. Brooklyn Deshuna, 2020, October 7th, 2020, no, 20, 
October 7, 2020, Sheepport, Louisiana. Sarah Blackwood, 39, October 11, 2020, Indianapolis, Indiana. Angel Unique, 25, October 25th, 2020, Memphis, Tennessee. Please stand uh, for a minute of silence. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for coming out here today and supporting us. Now please take a moment to walk around if you haven't already and read all the stories of all the trans people we are mourning today and use your grief to impact real change and take more responsibility in creating the world you want to see. Thank you.